your boy King Brando. What's up, Brando fam? How you doing? How you living? Today I got a treat for y'all, okay? This is gonna be my first time ever listening to Nas. Other than like, you know, Ether and all of them other like singles and all that stuff, I never really heard a project from Nas. So this is the first time I'm gonna be doing it with y'all. This is my first reaction to Nas. Uh, this is Nasir album. I'm really interested to see because, you know, everybody be saying he wanted a goat TB on a Mount Rushmore of rap. Uh, so I'm really interested to see what they got because I never really fed into the hype because I don't really like old rap music like that. I only like certain artists like that. Uh, but uh, I got to give Nas a try, man. I got to give Nas a try. This is like his 11th or 12th uh, album. So, and it's only seven tracks. So I'm just going to get this album. But they taking too long on Apple Music. So I'm just going to run through all of the tracks and my opinion on them uh so far but yeah this is a great album a, this is a great album y'all really gonna have to see my overall thoughts my final thoughts but Nas Nasir album seven tracks like around 20 some minutes close to a half hour uh yeah let's get into it man yeah track not for the radio i'm gonna try to do this like in one take because i got my notes with me right now on the computer so i'm just gonna read them off so you know please don't roast me uh but yeah uh we got not for the radio featuring puff daddy and 070 shape well 070 shape whatever y'all want to call her she came with the great feature on yay i love that that was the best feature of the album to me well me personally with mine um yeah, not for the radio. I think this is a great introduction, man. Uh, it's not. It's how do I do this? It's it's like this. The hook is simple, but it's good. I like it. Um, Nas coming in with the good flow, spitting. I'm like, dang, bro, dang, bro. This 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 what the hype about, bro? I I I feel what you're doing. I feel what you're saying, my dude. You got me, but you got me. Uh, but yeah, on this one, he talk about like how all the political system is just like messed up. They all frauds. Can't really trust them. Uh, and he rap about like how old ah, can never talk. Uh, he rap about how like a lot of old stuff that y'all think is true is not true. How Abraham Lincoln did not free the slaves. Uh, he didn't stop slavery. Swap was made to stop the Black Panthers. Wasn't made to just you know do what you think they was made to do. And how you know uh. Uh, we did not create crack, as everybody always gives us credit for doing that, but we didn't. Uh, I like how he just took it back and just, he gave you a flow. Well, y'all probably used to it, but he gave me a flow that I've never been used to. Other than like on his uh, few songs that I have heard. I'm sorry, it's taking me this long to listen to Nas, like really listen to him. But like the dude is, dude is amazing. But uh, yeah, let's go to the next track. Cop Shot the Kid, that's my that is my favorite song on this thing. My dude, you and Kanye. My dude, oh, if I could, bro, my dude, if I could pull my hair out, I would. That's how good it was, bro. Personally, my favorite track on there. We got the Slick Rick sample, man. I uh, really like Slick Rick. He talk about politics. Nah, I said politics. Uh, policemen shooting like uh, black kids and how, you know, everybody want to claim that it was self-defense, but it really wasn't, you know, uh, how they talking about, like, you know, they had to pin everything on a black kid to make them look bad when they just, you know, and how they just want to go home to their family when, you know, a lot of this could have been avoided because every time it's a white person, they go home safely, but if it's a black kid, they getting, uh, they getting hit with five. That was my, that was the best line on the album to me, me personally, uh, and then they go into how, you know, He's saying parents got to bury their kids when it should be the other way around. And this is like one of the disadvantages of being black is that, you know, you always got to be really, really, really careful with police. And uh, how, you know, every time, you know, every time something like this happens, it reminds me of why Colin Kaepernick kneels. And that's the same thing with me, bro. Every time I have on one of these shootings, I think like, man, this is really what Kaepernick was trying to stand for and what he was trying to do. And Kanye, my dude, bro, my dude, bro. It's the best feature on this dude, cause you just can't. I really like the line that Kanye put. It was probably my my. This is my favorite line from off the uh, features. He say, "Who we gonna call if 911 doing the drive-bys?" That took me out of the whole thing. Took me out of the whole 
thing, man. And he says, you know, there's always two sides to every story. He gets that. But the things never really add up. You do all of this stuff for how you fear for your life. But, you know, it could have been other steps taken to not have this happen. But now we got White Label. Um, I like this track. It was good. He go in and he starts spitting. Uh, I like this track from a rapping stance, but it's not going to be one of them tracks where I'm just like, man, I got to go listen to White Label. I got to go do this. But it was great. It was great, though. It's not a memorable track. You know how tracks be good, but it's like, man, I'm going to forget about that track uh, in like a few months or something. But I do like how Nas be spitting. Bro, Nas be spitting. Nas is... The dude 44, the dude still spitting, man. You know, a lot of people, they just kind of fade away. The dude came back with one of the best albums I ever heard, bro. That's how you know. Like, I may be over-exaggerating, but this, to me, is one of the best albums I've ever heard. Uh, but, yeah, I like this track from his rapping stance. Uh, I like how he shouted out Kanye for the production. Kanye, dude, you, you having a very, 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 very good June. A very... Very good June, but now we got Bonjour. Uh, I like this track just because they were speaking French, bro. I like, I like it, bro. Even when the weekend used to do all the stuff with this, you know, when he was speaking French and all that, I like that, bro. Because I took French in high school, never passed it, but I mean, I did pass it with a D, but you know, y'all get what I mean. But um, yeah, I like the uh, French aspect to it. Tony Williams, dude, you can sing, you can sing, you can sing. Uh, yeah. Whew, I like the, uh, I need to take a moment to breathe, but I like the feature from, uh, Tony Williams. He don't do too much. He's, his feature is not annoying. He's not one of those annoying singers that, like, be on everybody feature. Uh, yeah. I like how, you know, he... <laughs> nah, it's talking about <laughs> what girls do you know prepaid before going out with you. That is funny. That, and he say he end up still smashed. My dude... Nas be spitting, man. And again, Tony Williams, I really like the feature. He talk about wealth and the fact that, you know, his kids, how he define his own wealth is that his kids will never have to endure nothing that he did. So that's how he determine whether he's wealthy or not, whether he's stable enough. It's so the way his kids have never had to do nothing that he do, experience nothing that he experienced, you know, so help him and all that good stuff. But now we got everything featuring the dream. And even though he ain't credited on here, uh, Kanye, the Dream, bro. You, you, you one of the ghosts, bro. You one of the ghosts. If y'all don't know, the, the Dream put pen to the paper, bro. He like Party Next Door before Party Next Door was Party Next Door. Okay, The Dream right hits. And The Dream can sing. I really like The Dream. Really miss The Dream, though. Uh, but yeah, The Dream, he, he did his thing on here. I like how, I like his uh, verse on here. I mean, not his verse. I like how he do the choruses. He on this song and the next one, Adam and Eve. Uh, but yeah, Kanye, you and I is really work great together. Actually... Who doesn't work great with Kanye? I feel like if I got on the beat and I can't even rap, me and Kanye will make a hit, a smash hit, just because it's Kanye. Who don't Kanye work with, bro? And Nas, bro, where have you been all my life? As this video keep going on, I need to stress to y'all, I really did not listen to this dude, okay? I heard Ether, I heard like a lot of stuff he was featured on, um, and like all that stuff, but I never really listened to a Nas project until now like my dude <laughs> i really like this bro i really like this a lot um and yeah we still on bonjour i like it though i mean no we not on bonjour i'm talking about everything we on everything i like everything he talk about you know immunization and i really like how he did this he tied that moment into like that moment when you a baby and you first get your immunization shots that's your introduction to pain and suffering my dude nice he is a smart dude, a very smart dude who really, really, really thinks about everything he's doing. You can tell he put a lot of time into this. Uh, and yeah, he rap about the two black men that got arrested in the bathroom of Starbucks and how, you know, uh, if Nestle buy him and stuff. But um, I, I really like that one because he, he one of them artists that really tied together everything that's happening right now into his raps. And like, you really get the sense that like he meaning what he's saying and like he one of the people that really care because a lot of people that rap nowadays they just give you like a little bar or two about the stuff and they just do that just so the way you could think that they lyrical or that you know that they woke when half of these people don't even be woke but now as you can tell that he's invested and that he really care about these things and now we're going on adam and eve i'm sorry if if the if apple music would you know release this if kanye will stop tweaking with us we could go through the music with it but, I mean, 
We gonna have to do it without it. But we got Adam and Eve. I'm trying to do this like in one or two takes. But we got Adam and Eve. It's an alright track. Another track that I'm not gonna really remember. The Dreams part was like very short. Uh, but I really like it. He was talking about, you know, having to uh, distance himself from the people who were like really just dragging him down. The weak people. He had to extract the weak in order for him to prosper. In order for him to thrive. I really like that one. And that's something that everybody got to do. Take the weak people out of your group. Take the people who are not helping you advance and who are just holding you back. Take them out and then you will succeed. Well, I ain't going to say like you will succeed or what or will not. But it'll give you a better chance because you have like-minded people with you now. You took out everybody who wasn't on your same track, on your same mind frame. Uh, yeah, but it was nothing glamorous to this track, but I really liked it though. It's more like on the weaker side of the album. Like if I was to rank all the tracks, it'd be like down there at the bottom uh, half. And then we have the simplest things. Well, simple things in this track. A great ending to it. A great ending to it. I love this track a lot. It's the shortest track. It's a good closer. Uh, you know, <laughs> it's very simple, no pun intended. Uh, but yeah, he talks about how, you know, he doesn't alter his style in order to like get hits and get like bangers and radio bangers. You know, he gives you what he gonna give you because that's Nas and you gonna get what you gonna get. He talk about having like a lot of failed relationships just because, you know, things don't work, bro. And how, you know, a lot of his girls left to date athletes and all type of other stuff. You know, how, you know, you might be with one of the girls that he was with. Uh, but yeah, he talked about how, you know, everything don't really last like that. So I like that one. And then he do some other rich talk, some other, you know, mogul talk that only Nas and probably Jay-Z can do. Uh, but yeah, it's a good th it's a good song. And now that we finish with that, gave you like a good little 11 minutes uh, to it. I'm just going to get all my overall thoughts starting now. Uh, my dude, I can't, well, actually, I can't even believe I got through that whole thing in one take, in like one take. Uh, yeah, and I'm not, I'm, it's gonna make it easier, because I got through it in one take, I'm not really gonna have to edit a lot, because, you know, I won't try to have my unfiltered opinion, I ain't gonna have all the cuts and all that on this one, because it's my first time, I really need y'all to hear me in my first opinion of Nas, that's what I'm gonna title this, first time listening to Nas, he is a god, okay, because the dude is, a, this, this is hard, this is hard, bro, Nazir is hard. This is one of the best albums I ever heard in my life. And it was only seven tracks. This was one of the best albums I ever heard in my life. Uh, Kid See Ghost was one of the best albums I ever heard in my life. Sorry I didn't get that to you, but it, I was really busy uh, with doing stuff like graduating and all that stuff. But Kid See Ghost, one of the best albums I heard. Nazir, really one of the best albums I heard. The dude just go in and spit and rap. I'm going to go listen to his other stuff because I feel like his other stuff is going to be like, it might not be as good. But the way people be talking, it might be even better, bro. But the, the, Nas, bro, where have you been? Why ain't nobody just, like, just slapped me and just said, bro, listen to Nas. Like, my, my barber and teacher been telling me for the longest, bro, listen to Nas, listen to all the old rappers, you know. And I'm like, me, I'm a, I'm a new person. And these old heads just be, they be blowing me, bro. I be like, bro, I don't care, man. Give me some new people. Give me some Drake. Give me some Migos. Give me some something. Don't give me none of them old rappers, man. Uh, but yeah, I really like this a lot. Nazir, bruh, I done listened to this like 45 times watching that live stream, okay? Because Apple Music would not release the thing, man. And watch watch when I post this Apple Music release, it, like that 12 something. Why watch they do it? And I'm going to be so mad because uh, I could have included this stuff in there. I would have just waited and then included it then. But bruh, Nazir, you, this album, bruh, Nas, Nas. You got a fan. You got a fan in me. Bruh, this is one of the best albums I've ever heard in my life. Let me know what y'all thought about it in the comment section. Let me know. Let me know something. It's been your boy King Brando. Make sure you guys like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit them post notifications. That's called the three clicks. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Please don't roast me if you, you know, thought differently and all that. It's my first time listening to Nas, bruh. I get this probably a 10 out of 10. And uh, like I said before, even though I didn't do Kids He Ghost, I get that probably like a 9.7 out of 10. But Nas, you spitting, you raw. I don't even got nothing else to say. I'm going to go listen to this again. It's me, boy, King Brando. Peace, man. Nas, <laughs> you a god. You a god. You, bro, you a god. Like, you, you belong on the Mount Rushmore, bro. You belong on Mount Rushmore. Like, I'm... I gotta go. I gotta go. Peace, y'all. Peace.
game. Yeah. Take me to the truth.